What's up, I'm Jonah, I play guitar in I Killed the Prom Queen, and this is my seven of 30. One, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13. How many people have done that? No, no, you're the best. Okay. The, the best and probably most memorable festival I've ever been to was what, actually one I played um, in a different band, but it was called Hova Festival in Norway. Um, and I just remember the scenery being really beautiful. It was set in like a sort of like a lake district, um, lush greenery everywhere. And then they just slammed a, a festival right in the middle of it all. We had a private beach for the artists, um, awesome catering. We played with the Prodigy that day as well. So yeah, one of my favorite bands of all time. Beautiful Norwegian people everywhere. You know, that was what made it for me. My scariest festival moment is definitely um, a festival I played in Finland and at the time I was doing a lot of climbing the stage rigging just to be a show off I guess um, and I'd climbed right onto the top of this part of the stage and I took too long getting back down um, for where the song kicked back in so I actually tried to do like a fireman slide down part of the rigging and my fingers hit a bar on the way down and my hands came completely free so I was essentially free falling from about 30 feet. Only for a split second I managed to grab back on again and slide the rest of the way down and not break my spine. As I mentioned before, one of my favourite all-time bands, The Prodigy. I've seen them at a couple of festivals before and they're just a fantastic live band. Um, In Flames from Sweden are one of my favourite bands also and they tend to um, get a lot of pyrotechnics and flames and all that kind of stuff happening when they headline festivals, so that'd just be an awesome show. Um, and probably Parkway Drive, who are good friends of mine for a long time, um, always put on a great live performance and seem to do really well everywhere they go, so I think that'd be an awesome lineup. It was a festival we played in Czech Republic and it had rained the night before, so the entire section of the stage in front of us was just a mud pit basically and not just like sloshy mud like a download festival it was like puddles and water and I played in swim shorts and flip-flops and I got down and circle pitted with the crowd in the mud and by the end of the set I was completely drenched in mud head to toe. There's a, a short clip of it in our video for Memento Vivere, one of our songs and a couple of photos online. Uh, I would call the Soundwave Festival in Australia home. Um, I've been lucky enough to play Soundwave in all three bands I've been in, Bleeding Through, Ring Me the Horizon and I Killed the Prom Queen. Um, and it's always been an awesome time, especially my hometown of Adelaide. Um, my family's always there, the hometown crowds are really supportive, so Soundwave Festival Adelaide. We've, we've done like a lot of sort of mini DIY hardcore fests and things like that. Probably played to maybe one or two hundred people in you know, some, some of the smaller parts of the US or even some of the rural towns in Australia. Places like Wagga Wagga have festivals every now and then and they're not so crazy but always awesome to play. Three things I would advise people not to do at a festival would include don't forget your gumboots, because, or wellingtons, whatever you want to call it. Generally, it's going to be muddy and messy. Um, don't forget your baby wipes, because showers are minimal, um, even for the bands. Um, and I guess just don't get too messed up, because you'll probably miss your favourite bands. I've seen plenty of people passed out in the mud missing the headliners. So. If you want to let Rock Sound know who you would like to see uh, on this segment again, just write it in the comments below.